How do we know Job is the oldest book in the Bible, and when in the biblical timeline does his story take place? I really can't wait to hear this answer. Uh, okay, so, um, the Old Testament written in Hebrew, New Testament written in Greek, and one of the things you see about all language, okay, uh, not just the English language, but all language, is that over time, it changes. When was the last time anybody in here had a conversation in Shakespearean English where they were not on a stage? Anybody? Anybody? Because we know that over time and over years, language changes. And so Job, uh, the language in Hebrew in the book of Job seems to be older than even uh, the first five books of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, uh, which were written uh, traditionally, we believe, by Moses. Uh, we kind of have a general idea as to when Job may have been written, uh, probably around the time of Abraham, and we get that from comparing other linguistic records, Semitic linguistic records uh, with, with, with Job. And so that's how we get that date. Now, here's one of these things where can we nail the date, or is it possible that maybe Job was written at a different time and we just haven't figured that out? Uh, yes, it is. But according to the best evidence that we have, it was probably written around the time of Abraham. Now, um, how does his story relate to the rest of the Bible? I, I love the beginning of the book of Job. In the land of Uz, there was a man named Job. Do you know where Uz was? No, you neither does anybody else, so that's Okay. <laughs> And so, there are some questions that we simply can't answer. And so, there is a bit of mystery to the book of Job, but according to the best linguistic evidence that we have, it seems to be that Job is the oldest book in the Bible. 